You really don't need to be a lawyer to realize that waving this thing around at the police because they've stopped you in your vehicle is against the law. The police can stop you in your vehicle for any reason or for no reason under section 163 of the Road Traffic Act 1988 and any vehicle told to stop must do so. But in this particular case I read on Twitter that Hampshire Road's policing unit stopped a vehicle because it had excessively tinted windows. But when the male driver was told to remove the tints his reaction was to get an axe out of the boot and wave it at the police officers. One in custody for possession of an offensive weapon and one for public order. Now one of the first comments that I read said that it was legal to have this axe in the boot of the car. That might be so in ordinary circumstances but as I said at the outset of the video taking it out and waving it at the police officers certainly isn't legal because by doing so it makes it an offensive weapon. Allow me to explain. Let's say we take an ordinary pen, everyday object and legal to carry around. However, some pens such as this one here have got a very sharp point on it. But let's say that I was carrying this around with the purpose of injuring somebody else with it because it's got a sharp point. Now, anything that you carry around with the purpose of injuring somebody else with it makes that thing an offensive weapon. You see, offensive weapons come in several categories, all of which can be pretty broad, but it's the third one, the one that I'm talking about, the one carrying it with the intent of causing harm, is the one that a lot of people fall foul of. The first category of offensive weapon is, of course, those that are made to cause harm. That is an offensive weapon by design, by default, and indeed by specification. The second type of offensive weapon is something that has been adapted to cause harm. So let's say you take an ordinary glass bottle and break it, causing a very sharp edge. If it's been broken with the intent of causing a sharp edge which is capable of causing harm, then it's been adapted to cause harm. Much like if you affix something sharp or pointy to an everyday ordinary object, then it's an offensive weapon for the purposes of the legislation. The third one is the one that most people fall foul of, and that is carrying an item which is otherwise ordinary and not designed and intended for causing harm, such as the axe in this case here. This is obviously an ordinary axe designed for ordinary axing purposes. However, if it is carried in the boot of the car, and certainly if it's waved around at the police officers, it can be inferred that this has been carried for the purposes of causing harm. And moreover, regardless of whether it was being carried in the rear of the car for ordinary purposes, let's say it had been chopping wood on the weekend, if he takes it out and then is then holding it and waving it around with the purpose of causing fear of harm to somebody else, that makes this axe and anything else that is carried for the same purposes an offensive weapon. But I just wanted to do this video to bring this story to your attention, because to be fair, the police get a lot of stick for the job that they do. However, it is the police that are going out and facing this kind of danger and this kind of threat to life every single day. And I see these stories time and time again, so please let this video be a warning to you not to get into arguments with people out and about in the streets. You never know what they've got in the boot, you never know what kind of person they are, whether they are prepared to take something like this out of the boot and wave it at you. And it's very lucky that none of the police were injured in this incident, but if it was a member of the public having an argument with this person and they did lash out and the member of the public didn't have what it took to defend themselves or get out of the situation there could have been a much more serious headline in the news so please take this video as a warning please do remember to like this video and subscribe i always appreciate that i'm just about to hit 250,000 subscribers i really appreciate you guys watching my videos and as always thank you for watching